Hey, Super Cat, guess what? Yo, what's up? We've got merch! What? And stickers! No way, that's awesome! And mugs, too! Oh, nice! Hey, what the heck? Okay, we're almost done. If I see another RC, I swear to God. Hey guys, what's up? Can I join you? No! Well, hey, welcome back to Hobbies with Jose. Today we do have a bit of a sudden finale on us. Unfortunately, last week I was a little bit under the weather, so I couldn't film a regular video. Apologies for that. But now that I'm actually feeling a little bit better and enjoying a three-day weekend, I decided I wanted to just power on through and get these projects completed. So that does mean that today is the last day to enter the contest and win one of two custom painted RCs. So once again, for the last time, here are the rules. Take it away past me. Number one, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate you very much. And number two, follow me on social medias. I'm on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and each one you follow me on is a chance to win for up to three chances. There's a bonus fourth entry if you like and retweet the contest entry. It's pinned to my Twitter, so it's easy to find. Then you send me an email to hobbieswithjose at gmail.com. And in the subject, just put RC contest. And in the body of the email, let me know what your social media handles are. For example, Twitter, your handle, Facebook, your handle, Instagram, your handle. And again, the contest is open worldwide and there's currently no end date. Today, it's today. So I wish you the best of luck. Well, all right. Now that we have that out of the way and this is a finale, we've got a special presentation here. Now, over the last few weeks, we've had some great customizers show off their work on the Discord. So let's take a look. Wow, that was really good. Like, really good. Like, why am I even doing this? Why am I even doing this? Come on, man, keep it together, you can do this. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. I can do this, I can do this. Yeah, yeah, let's go, come on, come on, all right. So what do we really have left to do? As far as the bodies go, the paint is pretty much completed. There are some minor touch-ups here and there, but I'm gonna take care of those off camera. 
But what I do want to take care of first is mainly the interior details for the dashboards and some minor sprucing up for the weapons too. So let's go ahead and get started.
So I've gotten a good portion of the reassembly completed and overall they are looking pretty darn good. We're going to start adding in the last bit of details which is always my favorite part because that's what always helps to bring the project together. And to start we have our panel liner.
I'm so freaking tired. Did I have a good time working on these? Yeah, I did. I did. Would I ever work on three projects again? I mean, never say never, but hell no. But thankfully, each of these projects was relatively simple. Two of them very similar, even. I am overall quite satisfied with how they turned out. In the beginning, I was debating giving Thrilling 30 RCA a more traditional G1 color scheme, but I am glad I ended up giving her the semi-gloss paint. It helps her to look that much more dynamic from the other two. And I know I said this during the review, but I'll say it again now. I think the robot mode for Earthrise comes out on top than the other two. And yeah, that's mainly due to her being a total shell former, but because of that, she's a better bot mode. That third party accessory kit just completes the look. And I'm totally okay in having a non-transforming RC since I get to keep the L mode, which isn't too shabby. It still looks a little bit chunky, but that nice coat of paint makes it look a little bit better. And I love how the panel lining does help to bring out all the extra details in each mold. Especially Earthrise, she had a lot more panel lines to work with, which is partly why I like her more too. I did also get to use one of my brand new Autobot decals that I have. I needed a bit of a smaller one for Earthrise RC than I had available on the stickers, and that decal fit the bill perfectly. Overall though, the three of these do look fantastic, and one of them can be yours. Again, today is the last day to enter the contest, and I will be announcing a live stream coming up in the next few days. So keep an eye out for it, that's when I'm going to be announcing our two winners, and I wish you all the best of luck. In the meantime though, of course, I am going to take myself a little bit of a break. I want to thank you all for sticking with me on this extra long journey, and hope you decide to get yourself a nice t-shirt. And as for what's coming up next, well, I'm too tired. I'm just going to let the figure choose me. Whoever wants me, come and get me. What the hell?